Hello and welcome. My name is Alon Friedman and with me is Zach Baisley and we are from the University of South Florida, Tampa, Florida. And we are going to talk to uh, talk about teaching R with peer review and a new rubric. The idea of a peer review is well documented in the literature and has been a lot of research on the subject. It is becoming the idea that in conducting peer review, we are benefit from implementation, ability to uh, scale the all aspect of the teaching, and ability to collaborate and to learn from other people their point of view about our code. So one of the new implementation of peer review can be found in GitHub. How posted on Medium how to conduct peer review. And his recommendation, it is a best for best practices for students is that start review with each part of the code, make sure it works as expected with a clean code guides. However, in the R community, we do not have still the idea of a clean code guidance that is missing. Another aspect, is the missing part of the peer review is a rubric. What is a rubric? Is the outcome of a lot of development. And a rubric is also a great facilitator for teacher, educator, to setting an agenda for the assignment, which means that we as a reviewer has an agenda that we want uh, the students to go over in order for them to for me, uh, for, to be become aware of how we criticize or how we evaluate their work. And the idea of it is that the use of rubric is the idea is that we are looking for quality and the, when students use a single rubric, usually to judge their own work and begin to accept more responsibility. And the literature, again, the academic literature, quite defined the, the benefits of a rubric in order for us to do that. It is one of the things that Adele in 2000 says using rubric to promote thinking and learning. And this is basically the objective of every instructor and every a teacher when he comes to the class. So the, uh, the common rubric in Java usually outline how to scale the, the assignment. And it, it usually talks about correct output, the design output. But the question begins is how do we, how do we create a rubric that will reflect ac accordingly to the R? At USF, we started to teach R since 2019 and we started to implement the, the rubric only in 2019 because we did not feel comfortable yet to establish a rubric that will be transparent to the students and this is what you're going to see. So we came up with the idea that a rubric can help the students to understand the R and we created a rubric, a rubric that they will see, they will understand, and the rubric will consist of, of tense categories, focus, um, the idea of uh, analytics, uh, idea of code, and we divided the code into two aspects, the code itself and the design of the code, the documentation, the testing, the visual and the accessibility. All those components usually cannot be found in a written document or a writing assignment. So what, when we, I started my conversation, I said, what is a student engagement? Is the idea that the engagement refer to the number of words students wrote in the feedback in the peer work. So meaning that we use the peer review, we gave them the ability to write back the feedback and we count the, the number of words in order for us to illustrate if they are engaged and what is the process. So our study research or the study research is can a new rubric design for the introduction of R engage USF students? Again, this is not a large scale study. It is only 26 students and 
the backbone of the study was canvas canvas is an online system and one of the drawback of canvas you cannot pull it pull the data out of it you need to do it manually which is uh, not easy to do so we collected also in addition to collecting the the students comments we also collected open questions a uh, questionnaire in order for us to get more input so all students attended the class participate in the peer review the study found that more students wrote more in the final project than the weekly assignment the ratio was two to five and we also found the most common and common uh, uh, terms that they use throughout the assignments and we also ran time series and word count in order for us to see this idea that in the beginning they did not feel comfortable with the peer review and the rubric but as the time goes on in the class they started to understand what it means and how they can learn from it in order for us to do that i, I want to add two comments from students and one of the comments i think illustrate how powerful the rubric can be so the rubric made me focus on the entire framework of r and the r package at the beginning i focus on the attention of the r code and by reviewing other works make me realize that the rubric gave me a structure of the development so this is the benefit but what i want you to take from this study which is what this it's all about so this is a, a case study this is not a general uh, generalized a study from the entire population and this is important the results suggest that the using of rubric increase students in engagement as i said they put more words in the final in the final project the study found that students show increased engagement and that's something that we need to do my hope in presenting this result is that ma many our educator will adopt this rubric and collaborate and extend our knowledge based on the idea of the next generation of our user will try to be more understandable to new users and how we can implement the rubric in order for us to succeed that's it i'd like to thank you and i hope to hear from you thank you